Hey y'all, Frankie here. This is what my Van B looks like when she, when I first got her, um, she had seats in her and my um, ex-husband, he took out the seats and he scrubbed her down and cleaned her out for me. And this is kind of what she looks like. I'm making this quick video. I like to make these talking videos every now and again. And this is a 1998 Dodge Caravan. I do still own a truck, um, but I saw this van one day. I was um, actually putting my truck in the shop and across the street was this uh, new car dealership and you know how they have the bad cars the cars that people have traded in like off to the side and a lot ready to go to the auction and there she was y'all there was B and I looked in her and looked inside she had seats in there and she was dirty and had a smell but this man came out like, you want to drive her? And I, it just happened really fast. It wasn't something that was even planned. But anyway, here's how she looks all cleaned out. Here's another picture of her cleaned out right here. There she is. There's B. She only has 78,000 miles on her. And so far, she runs really good. I was going to the winter women's RTR and also the RTR and this was my van cleaned out. This is a wall hanging of a horse. I'm actually laying on the ground in my van. Um, I was going to RTR but sometimes your plans get derailed. Here I am again just cheese and laying on the floor. My ex was like, you are crazy. You bought a van to live in. We used to go camping all the time. So, and yeah, I can't stand him just so y'all know. But anyway, he was like, you are crazy. He's like, you're going to do this. That's one of the reasons why I like to get on YouTube and start conversations and things like that and talk, talk to other van dwellers and or YouTubers. Because believe it or not, in the real world, people don't get it. Like, they don't get it. They know I'm a creative, a free spirit. But in your real life, tell somebody you living in a van or going to live in a van or that you're going to, like, explore the world. And they don't get it. They really don't get it. And so sometimes when I make these videos at night, I just be wanting to talk to other YouTubers. Even if you don't have plans to live in a van, if you follow van channels, I know you get it. You know, because your family and friends, some of them get it and some of them don't. This is uh, my ex-husband. Um, we're in his backyard. And he's putting my bed together. Y'all, my bed didn't crack twice. He was like, you too fat for your bed. I'm like, you know what? And my bed has literally cracked. He fixed it one time. And here it is. It's cracked again. Not cracked. Just one side. Like the piece came from under it. It's not a problem. It can be fixed really easily again. But still. He told me not to show him on camera and yes I don't want to show his mug on camera anyway and um, yeah I thank you all who have come on board and um, people who follow my channel this is an interesting story I um, you know during Danielle there was a challenge it was a couple of van dwellers in a 30-day challenge and I wasn't a part of the original group, but I just, um, Darren Danielle just said, um, hey, you know, get in on the challenge. And so I started this challenge on a humble, y'all, 30 days ago, really. Or we started in April. So we started doing video every day. So VEDA, VEDA stands for video every day in April. And I swear, I don't know how to edit. And um, so what I did was I just jumped in with the ladies um, and started making videos every day. And this is, these are not even really, I mean, they're not great videos or anything. I was in New York in March. And so I had some videos um, up. This is me on St. Patrick's Day with some green beer. I just started making these videos like, look at this. Just, you know, a humble little channel. 
Um, so I still have a room. Just some little videos. I wasn't, you know, like 30 days ago or whatever. So it was something I did on a humble. I have been wanting a YouTube channel forever. And I wait till I'm about to turn 50 years old to start a YouTube channel. But it's been a dream of mine. I've been wanting a channel. I actually have two other channels. I don't have any subscribers on the other channel. I don't have. I don't really have a lot of subscribers, and um, but I just started, yeah, just doing these videos 30 days ago, and I was just doing little stuff here and there. Um, I know this video has gotten a lot of views or whatever, and this one has also. But I'm an enterologist, you all, and it just means that I strongly believe that 80% of what you do in life should be positive, whether it's in your work life, in your relationship, um, for your mental health, your physical health, even though if you, like say for instance, okay, you eat junk food, well that should be 20% of the time. 80% of the time, you want to be doing things the right way. 80% of the time, you want to be putting your energy into the right things. And that's really the kind of person I am. Now, I can kick up some dust. Oh, yeah, I can kick up some dust. But my thing ain't just to... I just don't... I just... That ain't, that ain't my bag. It, it's really not. I don't... Um, you know, I still have a room, and I don't own a TV. Like, if I go to Planet Fitness, I'll watch TV. I mostly watch YouTube. I enjoy reading books. I'm not no saint. Like I said, I will kick up some dust, let me tell you. But I ain't into that, like, this person, okay, I'm friends with this nomad, so don't be friends with that. You know, I'm not into all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I know that video, I'm one of those kind of people because I am a free spirit, like I'll do something on a humble, just, you know, I'll do something, and uh, so when I made these videos about Vanner, it was just on a humble, just my honest thoughts, you know, and I was going to take them down or whatever, but then I saw like, oh, my channel is growing, and that's a good thing, because I do want to grow my channel, and they are my honest thoughts, and I don't think that I have been disrespectful toward her I mean it may not be I don't let me see how I want to say this I, I just share my honest feelings and, and I would consider myself a, a person who has been a supporter of her and again I'm not talking about giving her a few dollars I'm just talking about supporting her channel and rooting for her journey and so this thing just kind of grew and grew and grew this um video right here a thousand views you see i only get 10 views oh this is some of these views that only have like 10 views though they're on private because what i do is i'll put up a video and then i hate the video and so i take it down <laughs> i will take a video down in a minute this video might come down and um one so i like to because again i can't comment i like my family a couple of them you know, they think it's nuts. And I don't want people to tell me that my dream is nuts of wanting to travel and live in a van. And so I can, I like to share with people who get it. You all are on YouTube. A lot of you all follow other van dwellers. So you get this lifestyle. You may even be living this lifestyle yourself. And so you get it. And so I look at you all like my community. You know, I like every van dweller. There is no van dweller out there that I do not like. I I may watch some more than others because I enjoy their channel more than other, but I like them all. I learn from them all. And so, again, I got in on this 30-day challenge. I was just trying to, like, do these videos. You see these videos, like, two minutes because I was just you know just doing I went to Alabama recently and I got some footage and I got some footage for me packing and it's just like I'm just trying to think of the right direction for this channel because I don't want to be messy messy is not me I want to show you all the world I do want to grow my channel somebody sent me a uh, or put on my channel and they said you're just trying to grow your channel and I was like duh aren't you trying to grow your channel I'm not trying to grow it at the expense of anybody else. I honestly like commenting. I commented right here on um, 
Kate's and Casson. She's got about three videos up and she just does well from her YouTube income just from having a few videos up. And you know, sometimes we put up a hundred bad videos, like all these little bad, they're not bad, but you know, bad ish. And um, you're not doing it right. You're working harder and not smarter. And that's using up all. Then the Russo's, I really like the Russo's. As you can see, I got two videos up about them. I think they had subscribed to me. And then I made this video. And then I think they unsubscribed. But I'm just commenting on things. And again, if you look at it, it's not saying nothing. People send me messages somebody told me somebody sent me a message and said the wood i had on my bed was going to cause cancer or something like that and when you put your life out there you do just hear comments and i know what it's like um because in my other world away from youtube i know what it's like to you know people just he just say stuff to you, be all in your Kool-Aid or all in your mix. And so I understand that or whatever. My energy is not to be negative. 20% of the time, yeah, I want to use my 20% of, if you want to call it negative energy, because we've been on this earth so long, nobody is 100% perfect. We can't be because we've been here. That's just like if you grew up eating pork or if you grew up um Listen to R and B. You know, it's just something that's in your fabric. I'm not saying that you can't be perfect like with 80% of your energy, but it's gonna happen. And if any of you watching this video, you know I'm telling the truth because throughout your day, you may work at being a good person. And I am a good person, but 20%, some people you just have to some things just, you know. 20% you get that energy and actually um, my master life coach just a friend but he changed his he said he's a master life coach and um, he helped me understand that because he's actually a well I don't even want to say what he is but um, he helped me understand well I'll say he's a politician he's also a um, uh, uh, He's not a reverend. He calls himself a master life coach. And he he is funny. And he would like do some stuff. And I would be like, you're not supposed to be doing that because in quotations, you're a you're a reverend. He's like, no, I'm a master life coach. But anyway, and I don't go to church. I'm a um enterologist and uh, I just believe that the earth brings you the universe you need. But I do believe in God. But anyway, let me get up back on track. And uh, he said, you know, we can use, you know, 20% of our energy. You you are allowed that. And I just started studying and researching. And I truly believe that. I've always believed in an 80-20 rule. But as it, became, as it pertains to, like, work in your life, but thinking about it as far as the energy you put out, if you put out negative stuff, like if you put out, you know, we all know those people who just, they are negative 100% of the time. You don't even want to talk to them. You don't want to pick up the phone because you know they just, they ain't going to be about nothing good. And so we all know those kind of people. And uh, how long is this video? I don't even know how many minutes I'm talking. I'm going I'm to wrap it up. But uh, so, yeah, you got to. You got to You get that 20%. And um, I hope on this channel to do more good than not to show you my trip. Um, I turned 50 in the summer. I'm having a YouTube party. And um, I just want to show you more good than not. I really do. I really do. So anyway, signing off. I like to do these little videos at night sometimes. Kind of just whatever's on my mind. And I'm um, doing, them. and again, I enjoy talking to the YouTube community because people who aren't even on YouTube, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, you know, they not really understand man life. And even if they was, you know, we all have families and things like that. And we talk to them about all kinds of things that are going on in our life. And so this is a place where I can come to share. But anyway, tell me what you think about the 80 20 rule if you want to leave it in the comments like um how is your energy like do you are you a person that tries to be more positive than negative are you a person that takes the joy route 
take the joy route just just let me know in the comments and i appreciate each and every one of you to come to my humble channel again i started this channel a month ago on a humble um the ladies it was um you know the lady said hey during danielle said hey she she ended on this challenge and so i appreciate each and every one of you take the joy route let me know in the comments if you take the joy route signing off frankie my van is being